Syndrome K was a fake disease made up by Italian doctors to save Jews who had fled to their hospital seeking protection from the Nazis. They were quarantined and the Nazis believed it was a deadly, disfiguring and highly contagious illness. A Chinese farmer who quit school in third grade spent 16 years teaching himself law to sue a chemical company for polluting his village. Wang Enlin couldn't afford to buy all the law books he studied at a local bookstore, so he paid the store in bags of corn to let him sit and read, copied all the information by hand, and learned what he could with the help of a dictionary. He won the case in 2017. A woman named Joyce Diane became famous in the 1950s for becoming the first woman to win the game show The $64,000 Question. Despite the fact that the show's producers did not want her to win and deliberately gave her questions perceived to be beyond her ability, which she answered correctly anyway. After needing 13 liters of blood for surgery at the age of 13, a man named James Harrison pledged to donate blood once he turned 18. It was discovered that his blood contained a rare antigen that cured Reese's disease. He made over 1,000 donations throughout his lifetime and saved 2.4 million unborn babies from the condition. In 2013, a homeless man named Billy Ray Harris found a $4,000 engagement ring in his beggar's cup. A woman had accidentally dropped it while giving him some change. She returned two days later and he gave the ring back. In thanks, she set up a found with the goal of raising $4,000 for him. It ended up making over $185,000. Billy Joel never sells tickets to the front rows of his concerts. Aside from wanting to beat the scalpers, he got tired of all the bored, rich people staring up at him. So now he sends his road crew out to bring down the fans from the worst seats so there'll be people in the front row that are really happy to be there, real fans. In 2017, a homeless man named Elver Alvarez found a $10,000 check on the street meant for a successful real estate broker, Roberta Hosky. Although Alvarez was broke, he still found a way to track down Hosky to return her lost check. So touched by his honesty, Hosky rewarded the honest man with a place to live and arranged a job interview with one of her business partners. A year later, he was on the board of directors for Hosky's Outreach Foundation which helps provide affordable housing for low to moderate income families. An Australian guy named Bill Morgan was declared dead for 14 minutes. He somehow survived. To celebrate his survival, he bought a scratch card and won a $27,000 car. The media and news asked him to reenact the scratch card moment. So he bought another card and won a $250,000 jackpot. Actress Hedy Lamarr was once dubbed the most beautiful woman in the world. She was also a mathematician and inventor of a frequency hopping spread spectrum, a technology used for Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Her idea was brushed off, others took credit for it and she spent her life wishing people would notice her brains instead of just her beauty. In 2015, a father saved his son's life when doctors wrongly declared him brain dead and were taking him off life support. He barricaded himself with a gun in the hospital and had a standoff with SWAT until the son squeezed his hand. The son made a full recovery. In 2018, during the Parkland school shooting, a 15-year-old boy succeeded in halting the gunman from entering his class by using his body to hold the door shut. Anthony Borges was shot five times, but saved the lives of his 20 classmates. 
he sent Nate a full recovery. In 2012, a stray cat randomly entered a home in Wales, where a blind dog was living, and after sensing the dog's disability, became its personal guide. The cat learned to direct and nudge the dog away from obstacles, and would protect it while out on walks. In 2007, Harry Potter star Daniel Radcliffe deliberately wore the same outfit for six months, solely to piss off the paparazzi and make their photos unpublishable. In 1978, an Indian man traveled from India to Sweden on a bicycle to reunite with a woman he met while she was on vacation in India. Traveling through eight different countries, the journey took him a total of four months. 44 years on the couple are still happily married in Sweden. In 2013, a paralyzed man in Wales gave up his dream of walking again to pay for a young boy's treatment instead. Dan Black spent years saving £20,000 for stem cell treatment. But after hearing of a five-year-old boy in a similar predicament, he donated the money to him instead. In 2018, a heroic dad, Brad Lewis, saved his youngest son from a fatal fall from a balcony by jumping after him and cradling him to his chest, taking the brunt of the impact. Lewis suffered a fractured skull, among other injuries, but has since made a full recovery. In Japan, there is a coffee that uses robots to serve people that are operated by paralyzed people. The robot controllers earn around 1,000 yen per hour, enabling them to still make income despite being paralyzed. In 2009, a 24-year-old knife-wielding burglar attempted to break into a 72-year-old pensioner's home in Oxford, England but was left battered, bruised, and pinned to the ground. Turned out the pensioner, Frank Corti, was a former boxing champion. In 1915, a woman arrived late at her sister's funeral. When she arrived, she demanded that her sister's coffin be raised so that she could see her one last time. Upon opening the coffin, her sister, Essie Dunbar, sat up and smiled. She went on to live another 47 years. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.